Today I'm going to be starting out by moisturizing my face. I'm just using this fresh seaberry oil just because my face was a lot more drier today than it usually is. So I'm just going to be putting this all over my face and then I'm going to be starting with my eyes. I'm priming my eyes with Max Painterly Paint Pot and I'm just using a concealer brush to apply it and just to blend it out. And then I'm going to be taking a powder. You can take any powder just to set it. This is um, a MAC powder. It's called Soft Focus. And then I'm going to be going in with Creme Brulee. This is um, an eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to be using this as my transition shade. And sorry my light is like freaking out. I don't know what was going on. But... Sorry, I had to stop for a second to pet my dogs. Now I'm taking Saddle. This is an eyeshadow from MAC. And I'm just putting it in the crease. I'm kind of putting it a little bit higher, like in my upper crease, just because I wanted it to be really warm because I'm going to be working with a little, uh, lot of dark, more cool tone eyeshadows. So, And then I just went back with my blending brush just to blend everything out. And then this is totally optional. You don't have to do this, but I'm just taking an orange eyeshadow. This is called Rule. This is from MAC, and it's like just a straight-up orange eyeshadow because I wanted it to be really warm. And then I'm just blending it out. But then I thought that I wanted it a little bit more orange and more warmer so I'm taking this eyeshadow this is from makeup forever I'm not a hundred percent sure on the name so I will list it down below and I'm just putting it in the crease and just a little bit in the upper crease and then I'm going back in with a clean blending brush right here just to blend everything out then I'm taking brun this is an eyeshadow from Mac it's like a grayish brown it's actually more gray and I'm taking the same brush same brush but a different one and I'm using this just to apply it all over my lid and just like a tiny bit in my crease and I'm using a brush like this because if you use like a more stiffer brush like the MAC 242 it's going to be like a lot thicker and just like um, more pigmented whereas if you use a brush like this it's just going to be like a lot more like uh, I don't know how to explain it like I don't know like a lot more I don't know, like, not as pigmented, I guess. And then I'm taking Wedge. This is an eyeshadow for MAC. And basically, all I'm doing is just putting it right where I stopped that, like, grayish eyeshadow on my lid and then meeting it with my crease color just to kind of blend them together. And then I'm taking a black eye coal. This is the NARS Via Veneto, I think is how you pronounce it. Sorry, like, my eye was, like, twitching out, so I had to make that really ugly face. <laughs> and I just put that, um, like just kind of where I would put my gel eyeliner and then I'm taking typographic eyeshadow from MAC just to put it like all over the like where I put the eyeliner and then I went in with a pencil brush just to blend it out I did use a clean pencil brush there was no product on it even though it kind of looks dirty it was clean <laughs> and then I'm just blending it out and then I'm going back in with my normal blending brush just to blend it out and then I'm going to be going in with false lashes these ones are from Ardell I believe they're the Demi Wispies um, 110 I think and I'm just going to be applying them using tweezers and just kind of having a little bit of a hard time putting them on there <laughs> then I'm taking corrupt eyeshadow any black eyeshadow will work um, and I'm taking an angled brush just to apply it like on the band of my lash where I would normally put my eyeliner then I'm just going back in with a blending brush or sorry a pencil brush just to blend it out and make sure you take your time when you're blending this out because mattes are so much more difficult to blend out than shimmer eyeshadows are so I did go with a little bit of purely naked which is like a medium brown with a little bit of shimmer and I'm just putting that in the crease just to help blend out the matte colors because it will help a little bit because it does have a little bit of shimmer in it. now I'm going in with primer this is just a MAC primer and I'm just going to be putting it all over my face. Um, you don't have to go in with primer if you don't want to, especially if you went in with a moisturizer. But I'm really dry, so that's kind of why I like to use primers. And then I'm trying out a new foundation. I'm really excited for this foundation. It is from the drugstore, and it's by Rimmel. I don't know. I don't think it's new, but I've never seen it before. And it's like supposed to be a like luminizing, like hydrating found, luminous hydrating foundation. So excited. It kind of doesn't look like it's like my perfect color, but that was like the darkest shade they had, and it was a little bit too red. And then I'm going to be going in with concealer. I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is definitely one of my favorite concealers. And I'm using a concealer brush to apply it. There's only one thing that I don't like about the um, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer is like it has a pump. I like concealers that have like a wand just because it's like so much easier to apply. And I feel like whenever I use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, I waste a lot of it. So I did have like um, quite a bit of concealer left over. So I'm just going to be evening it, evening it out. Even, oh my god. Evening, evening, evening out my highlight. 
I don't know. I'm just going <laughs> to, just, just so it doesn't look like a little bit too much. I put some on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my cupid's bow, and then on my chin. And then I'm just going to be blending it out with the damp beauty blender. Wahaha, the power of editing. If only I could blend it out that fast. Then I'm just going to set everything. I'm using the banana powder from Anastasia of Beverly Hills, but then I ended up going in with a little bit of MAC Soft Focus Powder just because the banana powder was a little bit too light because I'm a little bit tan right now. And then I'm going to be contouring. I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And by the way, I know I look so like rough right now. I'm like in my clothes that I'm just wearing at home because I was like home by myself. Well, I wasn't home by myself. My boyfriend's there, but whatever. I'm just... I didn't feel like getting all dressed, even though I have my jewelry on, but my hair is up and I'm doing my makeup. I don't know. I totally feel like I look like a hot mess right now. Don't judge me. Then I'm just going to finish applying my bronzer. I just put some on my forehead and I did contour my nose a little bit and underneath my lip. There's no specific reason why I contour my nose other than I just like the way it looks. And then I just went back in with my brush and a little bit more of that highlighter, that highlighting powder just to kind of clean up underneath my contour and then I'm going in with this blush this is from MAC it's an extra dimension blush and I know it kind of looks like a little bit scary and intimidating because it's so dark but if you use like a white goat hair brush like this this is a brush from MAC and just use a really light hand and tap off the excess it won't be as scary I promise then I'm just going back in with this dual fiber brush just to blend everything out this is actually a MAC brush too but Sigma has the same one then I'm going to be highlighting I'm using the new Josie Marin um, highlighter and it's it's okay it's a really really like it's a really subtle highlight and I usually like my highlights like a lot more intense but it is like pretty so I just applied that <laughs> and then I am going in with Smashbox primer water just to set everything and then I'm gonna be filling in my eyebrows I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow powder in soft brown and I'm just using a definer brush just to fill out my eyebrows and I'm going to kind of go through this quickly just because it takes me forever to fill my brows. And if I were to keep it in there for the whole video, this video would be like 30 minutes long. No, I'm just kidding. It wouldn't be that long. But it does take me at least like 10 minutes to fill my brows tops. I've used Max Cork Eyeshadow to fill in my brows for like a long, long time now, like over a year. And I just started using this and I like the way it looks a lot better. It doesn't look so orange on camera. It doesn't look orange in person, but on camera it does, so I thought I'd change it. Then I'm taking this um, clear brow gel. This is from Anastasia of Beverly Hills. Just because my brows kind of like were all over the place today, I don't know. And then I'm going in with MAC Giga Black Lash Mascara. I'm not putting this on my false lashes. I'm only putting it on my real lashes just to bind the two together because I forgot to do that. Then I'm going back in with Brun Eyeshadow, and I'm just going to be putting this really tight up against my lower lash line, as you can see. And then I'm going in with Saddle and Wedge. I'm mixing those two together with a pen on a pencil brush, and then I'm just going to be using these two colors to blend everything out. And then just because my setting powder was already out, I'm going to be using this to highlight my brow bone. I'm using MAC Emphasize, and I've actually used this to highlight my brow bone a couple times, and it looks really pretty. Like on the brow bone. I don't know. And I didn't want like a shimmery one. I guess I could have used like a different one. But whatever. And then I'm just taking that same eyeliner from NARS. And I'm going to be putting that in my waterline. And then going back in with the same pencil brush. Just to blend it out. Just kind of smudge it a little bit. Because this look is very like raw. I don't know. It's like very dark and I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> I'm taking MAC lip liner. Um, this is called Spice. And I'm just going to be using that to outline my lips and fill them in completely. And that's all I'm going to be doing with my lips today. This is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have any requests, just leave them down below.